Peace and welcome to 10 Possible Inspirations for David Wise, also known as Oddly Familiar Episode 53. Some of the themes today are rearrangements by David Wise of their arcade counterparts that he did not compose, but they are still possible inspirations for the original themes. With no further delay, let's get this underway. First up, at number 10, we have California Games and the title screen. And here is Richard Berry's song, Louie Louie. a song written and composed by American musician Richard Berry in 1955. It is best known for the 1963 hit version by the Kingsmen. The California Games theme is more similar to the Kingsmen song which we will get to in a moment. We rank this one an 8 out of 10 on our oddly scale. If you know the song Louie Louie then this one should be recognizable before we even compare them. California Games was released on many different consoles, and not all of them have this same melody. For example, the Super Nintendo and the Sega Genesis version is a completely different theme. However, some consoles do use the same melody as the NES version we played. This NES theme comes from David Wise, and it's an arrangement of the arcade version that was not composed by Mr. Wise, but it still remains an inspiration for the original tune. Here is the title theme from the Amiga and the Louie Louie version by the Kingsman. Number 9 spot comes from the first Donkey Kong Country game, the main theme. And that intro comes from the original Donkey Kong game. This one can be chalked up as a replayed sample. The intros start out exactly the same. It's a nod from David Wise to the original game. I am sure a lot of people know about this one. It's one Donkey Kong game paying homage to another Donkey Kong game. So no real surprise here. On our oddly scale, we rank this one a 10 out of 10. The original composition by Yukio Kaneoka was for the 1985 Donkey Kong game while the new arrangement was by David Wise for the 1994 Donkey Kong Country game on the Super Nintendo. from the NES game Who Framed Roger Rabbit, the building theme. And here is a theme from the Who Framed Roger Rabbit movie, Jessica Rabbit's theme. Kind of like the previous theme, this is one entry in the franchise using a tune from another entry in the franchise. But I think the previous one is a little more well known because this one requires the listener to pay attention during the movie and during the game. While our ninth spot was during the title screen, so there isn't much to be distracted by. 
The movie was released in June 1988, while the game was released a little over a year later in September 1989. This was one of my favorite movies as a kid, but I can't really say the same about the game. It's a little bit frustrating, but still fun to play sometimes. This one gets an 8 out of 10 on our oddly scale because it is quite similar. Number 7 comes from John Elway's quarterback on the NES, the team selection theme. And now let's compare that to Let's Go by the Routers. Originally released in 1962, with the cover version released in 1963 by The Ventures. This NES theme is by David Wise, and just like our number 10 spot, it is a rearrangement of the arcade version that Mr. Wise referenced while producing this theme, but we will get to that one in a moment. The song Let's Go plays at many sporting events. It's a good song to get the crowd involved, and almost all sports fans know about it. John Elway's quarterback is a gridiron football game, so sports music fits right in. It's a lot like a hockey game that has songs by Two Unlimited. Some songs are known for being played in arenas and stadiums. This one gets a 9 out of 10 on our oddly scale. It's not a sample to get a 10, but it could be considered a cover or perhaps paying homage. Here is the same theme from the arcade version of John Elway's quarterback. Number six spot is from Diddy Kong Racing, the Walrus Cove theme. And here is the Richard Himber song, Winter Wonderland. So with Christmas approaching, we decided it's a good time to include this one. Winter Wonderland was written in 1934, and now there are over 200 different versions, including artists such as Bing Crosby, Dean Martin, Johnny Mathis, Frank Sinatra, Amy Grant, and many, many more. Diddy Kong Racing was first released in 1997 for the Nintendo 64. An enhanced remake for the Nintendo DS titled Diddy Kong Racing DS was released worldwide in 2007. This particular theme gets a 6 out of 10 on our oddly scale, because the theme seems to be inspired, but there are a lot of extra instruments, and it's only a small portion of the overall theme. Next is number 5, another one from Diddy Kong Racing's Walrus Cove. And here is Here Comes Santa Claus. Our number 5 spot is a double whammy, the same Walrus Cove theme from our previous entry but a different portion of it. Again inspired by a Christmas song, Here Comes Santa Claus was released in 1947, written and performed by Gene Autry. On our oddly scale, this one receives a 6 out of 10. 
It's similar enough to be recognized, but may require paying attention. No matter how you look at it, it's the second Christmas song that inspired this Diddy Kong Racing theme. Lucky number four is from Donkey Kong Country 2, Diddy's Conquest, in a snowbound land, Clapper's Cavern. And here is Vangelis, theme from Antarctica. This soundtrack album is by the Greek electronic composer Vangelis. It was released in 1983, and it is the score of the Japanese film Antarctica. From 1983 to 1988, the soundtrack was only on sale in Japan, appearing in other countries as a rare and expensive import. There are two versions, but they have the same track list, so the cover is the only real difference. Donkey Kong Country 2 was released in 1995, 12 years after the movie. This one receives a 5 out of 10 on our oddly scale. It sounds familiar, but it's definitely not exactly the same. But it could be slightly inspired. Number three is our last one from Diddy Kong Racing, the intro theme. <laughs> and here is one from the Hollywood Edge Sound Effects Library, a track titled Two Young Kids Giggle. <laughs> So up next we have one from a sample library. And don't hate on Mr. Wise because this is exactly why sample libraries exist. Instead of composers out looking for kids laughing or bringing them into the studio to record, just find a sample to use and keep moving. I would much rather have someone like David Wise inside the studio composing music rather than outside looking to record something like a laugh. This one obviously gets a 10 out of 10 on our oddly scale, as 10 is saved for samples and nothing but samples. Two is our last one from Donkey Kong Country 2 Diddy's Conquest, a theme titled Haunted Chase. And here is Night on Bald Mountain by Modest Masorgsky. This classical piece is quite well known. It has been used in movies like Saturday Night Fever or other video games like Kingdom Hearts, but we will get to that one in another episode. On the oddly scale, this one receives a 6 out of 10. It's a recognizable and unique riff. The Night on Bald Mountain, also known as Night on Bear Mountain, dates all the way back to the 1800s, so it is in the public domain, and everyone is free to make their own rendition. It's only about 130 years before the release of Diddy's Conquest. Our number one spot comes from Battletoads, the pause theme.
compare this one to Blue Suede, Hooked on a Feeling. So this Blue Suede song from 1974 originated from an older song by B.J. Thomas released in 1964, and with the same title, Hooked on a Feeling. Although the original version by B.J. Thomas doesn't have the Ooga Chaka part, that came later on in the 1971 version of Hooked on a Feeling by Jonathan King. I would say this Battletoad theme is more similar to Blue Suede, although it does share similarities to the Jonathan King version. So you can pretty much just pick either one. On our oddly scale, this one receives a 6 out of 10. It seems to sound the same, but it could just be a generic riff that has been used many times. So there you have 10 possible inspirations. We aren't saying all of them are clear cut, but there are definitely a few in there that are, mainly the samples. If you have any other David Wise tracks that sound oddly familiar, let us know and we might just do a part two. Last but not least, I gotta give a huge shout out to all of our patrons, especially the gold level patrons, Persona 11, Quantum X, and Chris Hayes. We definitely appreciate it. And we will see you in the Discord later. I am ICC. Thanks for watching. Peace.